Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to work today on putting some pockets and things in these signatures for this botanical journal. And um, before I put anything in it, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to show you how to make a pocket. Uh, Crystal asked me about this one and I ha do have it in my 12 days of pocket, but I thought I'll just make one for this journal and then it'll be, you'll, you won't have to go back and look if you don't want to, but I recommend that you do because I had lots of great ideas in those 12 days of pockets. So I took a, a page out of a flower book like this. And what I did is I cut off the white on the top and the bottom. So now I've got like this because I don't want that white in my pocket. And this is uh, your simple, simple pocket. <clears throat> I want this flower to show. So that's what I decided, you know, like rather than have this white down here, you know, I could have had this one too. But I decided I want this one. So I just have my page. And I take this and fold it over. Until I get this. Even with this. I've got this at the corner. And I'm going to get my bone folder. Okay. So what I did here, folded it over so it's even down here, and burnish it. Now the next step is you're going to fold on this line right here. You're going to take this and fold it. You can double check where you're folding. Okay. Uh, what I want is, so this gets even with the bottom, and this point comes up to right there, and burnish, okay? All right, now you take this point and you fold it back on itself. And burnish. Now sometimes you get, depending on the size of your paper, sometimes this goes over farther and I cut it off. This one didn't quite come to the corner. Um, I could have folded this a little bit further, but it still didn't come quite to the corner, but that's okay. Okay. Sometimes what I do if it sticks out, I fold it under, or I, um, let me see here. Here's a different one I did. It came right to the corner. Um, I'm trying to think of where, let me see here once. I'll just take this. Okay, this is just a piece I was sort of reminding myself how to do it on. This one came out here. You could either fold it in or you can cut it right here. Okay, and then what you get is two pockets in here. You get a pocket here and you get a pocket right here. Now you do have to glue it. Um... I'm going to glue here, I'm going to glue here, and here, and then I'm going to glue here.
and there's your folded pocket. This is the one that I used a map to do in the um, in the, the grammar book. I'm gonna clean this glue up here. So. And then you can grunge it up, whatever you want to do. You could have inked this before you glued. Um, if you forget to do that, you just stick something in like this and ink it if you want it to when you forgot, which I didn't even think about that right now. But that is how to do that folded pocket and I made one for my botanical journal here. All right, now what I did is I went through all of my stash that I had from when I made all kinds of pockets and everything and I decided where I was going to put some things. So this pocket has vellum just over cardstock stitched. I'm going to put it in here, but I'm going to make it into a pocket by gluing around here and you put it in glue on it okay so this lifts up and you can journal and it's also a pocket back here and I was pulling out some things I might use but I'm not gonna put that in right now all right um let's see what's next here I'm giving you a peek Ah, this one. I'm I folded over one of the Edith Holden pages and I'm going to glue this and make that into a pocket. Now this is one of the pockets I made in my 12 days of pockets and it's a floating pocket. Um, this is a pocket right here, a big pocket, there's a pocket here, and there's a pocket here. So I'm thinking I'm going to put some ephemera in there and then just slide that in there. Okay. This is a pocket that I already had glued on this page because I used things that I had already prepped but didn't use. So this is just a, like a library pocket made out of glossary of terms from a, um, an index from a, a flower book or gardening book. Just put some things to decorate it and that'll have that in there. Okay. Let's see where else. Okay, this had a pocket already in it. This was one that I didn't use in my um, the writer. And I just had some of these note cards. So glued that in there. All right. Let's see, do I have anything else? Oh, this is the one that I, I glued on top of that. So it actually, I should put a, I'll probably put a tab on there so that you know that that goes over. And then the next page is this one. And let's see. Oh, this is something that I experimented with and I just cut uh, an Edith Holden page and um, I folded it. I did this punch on the edge 
and um, I did re I, I put a, a one of these what do you call them it's like a photo like what you put on the back of a picture to hold it in or something I have to look it up what it was I ordered them off Amazon and I just cut some circles to reinforce that so it'd be stronger and then I just cut this art shape and you can put something behind it so I put a, a notch right there so it just um, closes up it's like a little gate and I'm going to put that in here so I'm just going to kind of do the edge here Okay. Just a little fun surprise. And I just have a piece of paper here that I'm going to slide inside like that. Okay. Let's see. Signature three. I took pages out of a book about flowers and they're so pretty. Okay, this is one I made in my 12 Days of Pockets and it is going to go in here. And um, I think I'm just gonna glue it totally down. This is already kind of thick. I don't want to do too much. And I'm putting it on one of these botanical um, alcohol ink dyed botanical pages. Again, out of a flower book. Two parts. It's another one that I had left over, um, made out of cardstock. Uh, what do you call it? Um, scrapbook paper. <laughs> I'm having trouble today. I'm thinking I might want to. I didn't ink any of those. <laughs> I might want to ink this one up. Again. You can ink that edge by putting in a piece of paper if you didn't do it when you made it. This isn't sewed around or anything. I'm just, you know, using it as is. I'm using up some of my stash. Again, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do the whole pocket in. All my stash is uh, for, of pockets is from my 12 Days of Pockets series that I did, oh, maybe a year ago. But you can go back and there's a, a playlist. So you can download the playlist and you have all of them. Okay, it's going to go right here. And I have another note card. It's just going to slide in there. All right. And signature four. Let's see what I picked out for in here. Oh, this one here. This was just a fold over and then I stitched around it. I'm going to ink that too. 
this one I actually inked green around when I made it. But I'll just ink a little just to cut the edges. Here. And it'll be put in like this. Like I said, if you want to know how to make any of these pockets, 12 Days of Pocket Siri, Series uh, shows you how to do all of these. Okay, not sure what's going in there yet. I like to put stuff in so I know how fat things are. This I just did a curve and I'm not going to do anything with it because... I have a pocket for right here. Um, this is just going to get put in. This is made out of, like I had bought some packets of I think they're like four by six or something like that or four by yeah four by six I think and I just was using them to make pockets now I found this card here and I believe I'm gonna put that in but I'm gonna have to cut it off just a little bit because I think it's too big to fit in see I'll have to cut a little bit off the edge to make it fit okay but I started to say I I like to um, put things in when I'm sewing the signatures in I take all the ephemera out I leave the pockets of course because they're glued but I like to know how fat things are going to be. This is one that I had made, and um, it's a little too big. So what I'm going to be doing is cutting it off. And um, I will stitch around this side right here. And that'll be a side pocket. It's on a um, time card. So you can kind of see the time card through here, but then there'll be, and you can see through, but that one I'm not going to glue in until I have time to cut it off and ink it and stitch it. Leftover from the writer. This is one that I was just showing how you can use ruffles. And uh, this is a, um, a fabric flip, so you can write underneath it. And then flip it down. Flowers are our constant friends. We eat, drink, sing, dance, and flirt with them. I love that. Enjoy your sadness. Okay, this is an envelope pocket that I put a window. You can see the envelope. But I believe this one I made this window by, I cut this frame and then put some acetate. One of my handmade paper flowers. And that one is going to go hmm, probably right here. And then I'll have something that will be pretty showing through. Nope, this is a window. I can see the, the the cool inside thing that was in there. But what I did is I cut it. Uh, I put this inside of it. Okay, I'm not, I'll wait and glue that in later. I keep dropping things. <laughs> Dropsy. Well, maybe not. I'll glue it in. Not sure what'll go in there yet, but 
This one I have a separate video for. It's not part of the pockets. It's making a... All right. Used scrap of paper to cover the envelope. Next, signature six. Okay, this is one I made out of a calendar, and you can see it was a used calendar. I have things that we did, you know, who I was, we were having lunch and everything. But I took the page of the calendar, and it had a beautiful rose on it, and I folded it and folded it, and I covered these two parts, these three parts, actually. Um, I'm looking. I think this was two pieces. I think so. I glued them on and then put a tab on. You can write inside of here, but if you see, I have a thumb notch here, so that will also be, um, an envelope, or I could put a, uh, I will put a, um, a tag or a piece of paper or something in there, but it'll be on like this. And I'm going to glue that one in. Of course, this one, it's a pocket, so I'm going to go just around the edges. But you won't see the calendar because it'll be inside the pocket. Need to get. Just covered it with scrapbook pepper. Okay. <sighs> Got my Edith Holden. This folds out. I may or may not make it into a pocket. I don't know. Some of my eco dyed. This was from a flower book. Look at her little re her tulip wreath and that red hair. Isn't she cute? Okay. Oh, this is one that I had made at one point. These are really cool. This is a circle. And um, I'm just going to kind of mark like where the middle is. And about where that is. And then what you do is you put glue across and across like that. And you put it on. And then I cut circles and you fold them in half like this and then in thirds and you put something to grab onto and those go in like this. And I'm not going to put them in and leave them in until that's dry, the glue's dry, but they fit in like that. So you'll see what that looks like together. Again, this goes out and that's signature six, three more. How are we doing? 24 minutes. Okay, this was actually an end paper and a flower book. Oh, so pretty. Okay, um, this was left over. I took it out of the writer. And of course, I used the flowers, so it worked well. 
This was also flower book, and it has some when when early heat shimmered sleep away. I remember a bowl of anthurium you left me. This poetry. Um, black dahlias. Just a poetry, piece of poetry from Edith Holden. You can see the fern on here. That was an eco dyed with alcohol ink. And I'm going to put this little pocket in here. This is made from five of these um, scallops. They're about, I think they're two and a half inch scallops that I punched out. Actually, it's uh, four and a square. That's what it is. I'm sure I have this in a video somewhere too, but if you can't find it, or I'm not sure where it is. And then this is a pocket right here. I got too much glue and it's coming out. I don't want to wreck my paper though. Signature 8. What do I have in here? Oh, this one's going to be folded over, glued to make it a pocket. And this is a page that I made you fold um, a piece on here. I folded it up actually, but I covered it then with with uh, cardstock, scrapbook paper. And then, you know, this is stronger because you folded it underneath. And uh, so it's not quite in half. This was in my five day, or 12 days of pockets too. And then stitched around it, decorated it, and you could write on the back of here, so I wanted to just slide that in like that. Okay. This is a pocket that I made with 12 Days of Pockets. Now again, you could leave this as a pocket behind as well. But I'm not going to. I think it'll get too thick. All right. I'm just going to take this and I don't always put them. Central, central, or center of the page because I want some more space on the side that's going to be the where the signature is sewn in. So I just try to line it up. And again, I'm going to use this, but it's too big. It's a note card. I'm just going to cut it off until it fits in there, and that'll slide inside of there. Opens up. And one more signature, and then we'll also see where I'm going to put the other thing. This was one I made. It's also, it's similar to that other one that the rose was there. I made it out of uh, a page from Impressionist Art. And that has a notch here. 
because you can write inside of it and it will then be a pocket and this will be fitting inside of it. Let's see here. So this will be around the edges here. And again, you open it up, you can write, and this will be in the pocket. It'll be in there like that. Thought that blue was pretty with this blue over here. I'm going to wait till it's dry to leave it in there though. All right, and each of my signatures only has four pages in. Um, I was going to do that one, but I might hold off because it's similar to another one that I have. I might put the other one in that I was just folding before to show you. Um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll put that other one in there. So you'll see it when I do the flip through. But this is something I had left over, and I think that'll slide in behind something. Not sure where, what, but uh, I just had that folded up like that, too. So that's all that I'm going to do for today. And I'm going to have to make some tags, um, finish up a couple pockets, but this is fitting nicely in here. I still have a little, you know, that's why I didn't want it to get any thicker. And um, this was a little loose, so I tied a knot in this. And... Uh, closes up like that so I'm getting closer I don't like I said this is me using a lot of things that I already have made so it's not going to take me very long to finish this so that's it for today thanks for being with me today I really appreciate all of you and uh, remember do something every day that you love what makes you happy and um be kind love you guys bye